Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. So RC helicopters are one of the hardest things to operate known to mankind. They're actually a lot more difficult to fly than the real thing. And the smaller they get, the more difficult they get. So many people new to the hobby buy a helicopter, smash it up a few times, realize how difficult it is, and then they give up on the hobby. So this helicopter here is supposed to be completely newbie friendly and a piece of cake to fly. It's got GPS and it can fly upside down automatically. So in this video, we're gonna unbox it, we're gonna put it together and we're gonna see how easy this thing is to fly and then we're gonna give it to a complete newbie that's never flown before and see if they can fly it. So less of the waffling and more of the unboxing. So by the looks of it, it does look like it comes with everything you need to get it to fly except there's no batteries. So you get the helicopter, blades, we do need to slightly assemble it. We get a charger and the radio. It also comes with a handy little spare package. We get a spare servo, belt, couple of shafts, tail fin, and a different tail rotor. So let's get it assembled, and then we're gonna have a look at it. Boom, we are assembled. So we got carbon fiber blades, full metal rotor head, brushless motor and ESC, flight controller, GPS unit, brushless motor driven tail rotor, carbon boom, carbon frames, super smooth belt drive transmission. But I'm not gonna bore you with all the techno babble, so I'm gonna put a link down below where you can get the helicopter from and also the full specifications. Size wise, I would say it's like a medium sized helicopter. So the controller needs four AA batteries and the helicopter will take a three or four S LiPo. I'm just gonna be using this Hobby King LiPo here. Now before I power it on, I'm gonna remove all of the blades, I'm going to remove the tail blade as well, power it up, make sure it works, get familiar with what all the controls do, then we're going to put it all back together again, take it outside and give it a blast. So to unlock the flight controller you've got to hold that stick all the way down, let's see what happens, five seconds. Ah, so in GPS it's not doing anything, it's probably waiting for a signal, 3D, should be where it lets you do anything you want to do. Oh yes, that's working. Up, down, run. Put it on the floor just in case. All right, I'm gonna mess about with it a bit and once I've figured it out, I will get you back on. Oh, we got post. Yes, new propeller for the plane. Anywho, back on topic. So I think the reason originally it wouldn't start is because you've got home, GPS, and 3D mode. Home and GPS obviously uses the GPS, and we're indoors, so the GPS is not gonna work, so that's probably why it wouldn't let us start. We put it into 3D mode, that's where it turns the GPS off, and it opens up the helicopter so you can fly it more like a normal helicopter, I believe. So to switch it on, you've got to hold down both power buttons. So you've got to make sure that all switches are all in the up position. Next, we have to plug in the helicopter. So then you're supposed to hold this stick down into that corner, but because we've got no GPS, if we put this into 3D mode, we can now hold this stick into the bottom corner and it's supposed to do something with its LED. So this for five seconds. And now it should work. Guys, that has got to be the smoothest sounding helicopter that I've ever seen. Let's listen to it. So we've got stop and run, normal circle, eight fly. No idea what that is, but we're gonna figure that out when we take it out to the field and fly it. We've got home, GPS and 3D, and we've got forward and invert. And I'm guessing when you flick this on, it's gonna go upside down on its own. But we're gonna take it over to the field, we're gonna see what it all does, we're gonna fly it, and then we're gonna give it to a complete noob who's never flown a helicopter before to see if he can fly it. Right, that's enough waffle, let's go and have some fun. Right, we are on location, we got the helicopter, I was gonna say drone. If it's easy to fly, then Vinny can have a go, and Jake can have a go too. Start it, you've got to hold the stick, 
down there. Don't get too close to it, I don't know how nasty it's going to be. <laughs> it's weird. Proper smooth, is it? Oh, should we try it in GPS mode? GPS. Oh, that's. So, yeah, hold lock. Look. That's in GPS mode. Oh, so it got. No, you can just. Up. And you can just be straight forward. Yeah, it's off a drone. Look, ready, look, watch, let go of the sticks. It just hovers, so if you get it into a funny position, just let go of the sticks and it'll hover. So like, anyone can fly it? Anyone. Okay. Wanna go? Let Jake have a go first. Oh, Jake's never flown. So how does it work? So is which... Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear, Jake has never flown a helicopter before. That, that speeds it. If, if it goes crazy, just let go of the sticks and it'll hover by itself. As you're moving it forward. Just go go above the lamppost so you don't hit stuff. Yeah, but that's going to like going to be He's never flown before. You have to press forward as well as like that. Go up a little bit. You can do the oar by spinning putting that to the left or right. Go up a bit. Go up a bit, Jake. So press up, that's it. Yeah, I'll do, I'll do. I'll just hoon it around. Hoon it around. <laughs> Dad want to go? Cheating, I'll have a go. Go on in Dad, have a go. Dad's go. Dad's got to try and land it. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like flying a drone. First time Mini trying to land a model helicopter. <laughs> right, so if Mini can land it, then I'm going to see if I can get it to go upside down. So for a beginner wanting a helicopter, perfect. For someone wanting to do stunts, I don't think so. I think this is drone material, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a, it's like, it flies like a drone. But it's a helicopter. Oh, he's going for nose in. Look how slow it is coming down. That's full down. Yeah. So here he comes into the landing. Nice, my go. I run it, anyhow. You? you flip the switch to run, and then do your thing on the bottom corner. I don't know what it was. You, you put it on stop. You just put it on. That's it. Manual takeoff. Takeoff. Move the stick. Outward with your left hand. Maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah. Move the left stick outward with your left hand and release the rocker after five seconds. Oh, yeah, you just did it wrong. So what you got to do is you got to move the stick outward with your left hand and release. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Complicated, isn't it? You rolling? Yeah, I've been rolling the whole time. Right, we're gonna try and get it upside down this time. Well, it's got normal and circle with fly A. I don't know what that all means. Maybe does that automatically circle. Is that manual? Yeah, it's manual now. Is it? it no, it's, oh yeah, 3D, yeah. Oh, it does. <laughs> oh, that's... <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Did you see? Oh, I done it by itself. Did it? Yeah. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I want to watch. I've got a video of it. Let's no, hit the invert switch. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Was that you that did all that? Yeah. Was that a bit of a ass twitching moment? No, not really. It's so definitely not for 3D. So once I turned it off, it doesn't want to go again. All right, so I'm quickly going to interrupt you. In a minute, we're going to try and fly it again, and we actually crashed it, so you can see that in a sec. But anyway, um, we did have some slight issues with the controller. Not really sure if it was me not knowing how to set it up properly or if there's something wrong with the system. Uh, but basically, what the instruction says to start it, you've got to hold the stick down, wait for five seconds, then release it, and then you can put it into run, and the rotor speeds up, and then you can fly it. It didn't... It, once we turned it off, and then you, we went to turn it back on again, it wouldn't work. We had to kind of unplug the helicopter and do it all over again. Next, this switch here, we've got normal, circle, and eight fly. So we did actually get this to work, but 
we wasn't filming. The camera's got a 10 minute recording limited cut out. We didn't realize, but basically when you, when you got it in normal, you can kind of fly it around like you would a normal helicopter. When you click this into circle, it's gonna do circles, like circuits, in the sky, all by itself. When you flick it into eight fly, it's gonna do figure eight, all by itself. Next over here, we've got home, GPS, and 3D. In home, it's supposed to come home. I did briefly flick it, and it kind of jumped, and it felt a bit funny, so I quickly turned it back off again. GPS makes it fly super, super easy, where like anybody can fly it. Basically, when you let go of this stick, you can fly it around in the sky, you let go of the stick, the heli's just gonna go into hover and just lock in and stay there. Uh, and then once you start moving the sticks again, the helicopter's going to start flying around. So saying you're flying around, you get a bit scared, you think you're going to crash it, you let go of the sticks, it's just going to lock in. A bit like a DJI drone. And also, it's not going to let you bank all the way over, it's not going to let you roll it over too far, so it's really easy to fly. And then when you put it into 3D mode, it flies more like a conventional helicopter where you can kind of just fly it around as you please and you can get it upside down. Now, it is very docile. It's got a very low head speed. Maybe there's a way you can speed it up somehow. I have no idea. I did manage to get it upside down, but it's definitely not for 3D, not in this current setup anyway. Uh, so once we got it upside down, I did fly it around a little bit upside down, but then automatically it, it kind of twitched and then put itself back the right way up. And I don't know why it did it. And then even though I was in 3D mode, it kind of put itself into GPS mode. No idea why. And then here we've got the forward and invert. We did try and flick that to get it to go upside down. You know, what it says on the box. It says auto inversion. So I assume when it's set up properly or whatever, I don't know, you stick that into invert and it's going to automatically go upside down. And actually it didn't do anything at all. So in the next clip, yeah, we crashed it. And kind of what happened, you can see from the start, it started tilting by itself. Well, basically, I had it into 3D mode, so I was doing all the controlling, but something was going on with the gyros. It wasn't behaving properly. It started tilting over, tilting and tilting. And then, normally, on most helicopters, this is the radio here that I use for that helicopter. If something goes wrong, you hit this throttle hold, and it cuts the motor out altogether. So, you know, that's what I'm used to. You know, when, when I'm flying, something goes wrong, boom, it cuts everything out. So then I tried to hit something there, and there's nothing there. So I was like, ah, ah, ah. And I couldn't turn it off, so I just carried on going. And really what I should have done is hit that stop switch there. But um, uh, it all happened so fast, and uh, yeah, yeah, you'll see, you'll see. 3D mode. Rolling? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh no! Oh no! Oh, 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 oh no! Oh my god! It won't turn off! Oh. 500 pounds! 500 quid! <laughs> no way! What happened? <laughs> it's me, innit? <laughs> <laughs> Tumbly wumbly. <laughs> oh no! That was a funky chicken! The funky chicken! <laughs> oh look! Look at all that damage in there! No way! Oh, we weren't videoing! Oh, just, you're kidding, just kidding, just oh. <laughs> kidding. Oh, wow. No, what damage has it done then? Oh, look, that's bent. It's come off the servo. There was something wrong with it at the beginning. Do you not? Know, it was like wobbling. I think it's just a blade, really. It needs a couple of links and it'll be back in action, won't it? How gutted are you on one scale of one to ten? Um, I'm quite gutted. No. Claire was going to have a go, can't no, now. Dear. Oops. There must be something wrong with it to be vibrating the way it was before it took off. It's got mm. to be. Game over. So there you have it. Damage wise, it's not actually that bad. I mean, it stripped the belt in the end, but it comes with a spare belt. I'm not really sure if the main shaft and the feathering shaft is bent or not. It appears to be okay by looking at it. One of these links here shot off, so I'm gonna have to go and find that. These little links here popped off, but I can easily straighten them out and pop them back on. Obviously the blades are toast, but other than that, I mean, there's not actually any damage. Or damage wise, it seems pretty good. Oh, a little servo horns come off as well. But the servos actually still feel good. So all in all, I would say it's a great helicopter for a beginner to learn how to fly with. You know, with a GPS and it's sort of so easy to fly. But I do feel like this particular one had a problem. It didn't feel quite right. So I think either I got unlucky or maybe...